my channel and welcome to another what's for dinner cook with me whatever you want to call it so I didn't plan on doing a cook with me for this one but Lindy here you go uh, so Lindy asked if I would do a cook with me on the salmon that we're having tonight she said that she's never tried salmon and she's really anxious to try it so I do have several cook with me's about on salmon out there on my website I think they're mostly air fryer recipes though I think I have three of them and I think they're I want to say they're all uh, air fryer recipes this one I actually do I pan sear it and I do it in the oven very hot oven so for this one I'm actually having broccoli and purple Brussels sprouts with it so the first thing I'm going to do is pull everything out of my bag. This is what I put together for meal prep Sunday, so I put everything I need. I actually have a half a cup of jasmine rice here. This is two points for, my, for a half a cup, but we prefer this kind with the salmon. This is the long grain and wild, so I'm just going to end up microwaving this. This is the, like the 90 second rice, and this is actually going to be one more point, so it's going to be three points for half a cup. So in this entire kit for the whole dinner, it's three, now it's going to be four points on blue, four points on purple, and eight points on green. That's for everything that's in the bag the whole entire dinner. If you do brown rice on purple, then your whole dinner could be one point. So I'm going to take everything out of the bag that I prepped, and for the vegetables that are in there, I actually have not washed those because when I put them in the bag, on meal prep I'm just throwing them in there so I'm gonna get these washed okay then I'm just gonna take a paper towel I'm just gonna dab them I have a pan here a tray that I have aluminum foil on and I've sprayed it with olive oil spray and now I'm just gonna put my broccoli on there I may cut the broccoli up a little bit smaller I'm gonna roast this in a 450 degree oven and basically just roast it until it's done to your liking. I like mine really roasted, so I usually do mine pretty close to about 25 to 30 minutes. And with the Brussels sprouts, I'm just basically going to, well, I'm going to cut the ends off first. And I'm just going to quarter those. And then just put those on the pan with the broccoli. So now what I'm going to do is while I'm cutting these off, I'm going to actually insert a clip from Meal Prep Sunday. So some of you may have already seen this part, but what I want to do is show you exactly what is in this marinade for my salmon. So I've had this marinating since yesterday when I did Meal Prep. So I'm going to just cut out that clip from Meal Prep and insert that now. So if you've already seen that part of the meal prep, feel free to fast forward through that part. But if you're here and you've not seen the meal prep and you just want to see what's in the marinade, then you can follow along. I need two tablespoons of brown sugar. So if you don't have this kind, you can use brown sugar, but just make sure that you adjust for the points because this brown sugar is zero points. The next thing I want is a garlic clove and just mince that up. I am then going to need two teaspoons of ginger and I'm just going to peel a piece off of here and shred it with my shredder. So two teaspoons, I think we got enough ginger in there. The next thing I need is one ounce of bourbon. I'm just using the Knob Creek bourbon. This is 100 proof. It will burn off when you cook it. So we're gonna, I weighed it out. That's why I was in that. So I knew exactly how much to pour in there. Uh, next I need one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce.
And finally, about a tablespoon of lime juice. Yeah, I'm just going to put the whole thing in there. This lime isn't real fresh, so it's not squeezing as much juice as it would normally when they're real fresh. Then, just want to mix that up. Make sure the brown sugar is all mixed up in it. And then I'm going to take it off of there. So I want to kind of lay my salmon in there. Okay, we're back. I just got done cutting up the Brussels sprouts. And you hopefully got done watching what is in my salmon. So what I'm doing now is just kind of going through and taking out these outside leaves that fell, that kind of loosened. You don't necessarily have to do that, but those will kind of roast up and pretty much char. You could actually take some of those off before, but it's just as easy to just do it this way. Okay, and my oven just beeped that it's ready, so now I'm just going to go through and cut up a little bit of this broccoli into more bite-sized pieces. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is just take my misto and spritz it with some olive oil. Sometimes I will put a, about a teaspoon of olive oil over the top. All right. And something else I like to do, which I didn't have in the bag, is put some garlic on the vegetables. Now a lot of you know that I don't like to cook garlic for too long because I don't like the burnt taste. But when I roast it, it kind of mixes in. It doesn't usually do too bad. It's when I'm cooking something on a pan, like pan searing it, that I don't care for that burnt taste. Just sprinkle the garlic over the top. And I'm going to add, I'm going to use some Himalayan sea salt. and some pepper. Okay, that's going in the oven. So I've had the vegetables in for about five minutes. You can use any type of pan, but I would recommend a pan that would go in the oven though, because usually what I do is I sear these first for about two and a half minutes each side, and then I put them in the oven for about five minutes. But if you don't have a pan that goes in the oven, what you could do is just completely sear them. In that case, then I would do them for probably about four or five minutes each side. It's going to depend on the thickness of your salmon though. So I'm going to put this pan in my 450 degree oven for about five minutes and get it really hot. Okay, so now <laughs> make sure you carefully take your pan out. Uh, I leave my glove on the handle because I have several times forgot that this pan is hot and grabbed the handle with my bare hand. So I usually will just kind of leave the glove, let me show you how, I just kind of leave it there just so that it reminds me that the pan, the handle is hot. So now I have my heat on high, you can see that really smoking. Now I'm going to take my olive oil spray and I'm going to give this a really good spray. And of course, I'm not spraying. That's all right. I kind of want a lot in there anyways. And we're going to let that oil heat up just a little bit. And we are going to put the salmon in there. Skin side up. Now hopefully this is not real loud like my chicken was the other day. I don't have my mic plugged boom. The key to pan searing salmon, okay, see these are thick on the end. See how thick those are? So mine may take a little bit more. The key to pan searing salmon is once you put them in that pan, do not touch them. You're going to want to touch them because you're going to think they're burning, but that is the key to cooking those. So I have them in there. I'm going to cook them for about two and a half minutes, and then I'm going to flip them over 
we take the skins off ours. It is recommended that you take the skins off first because then you can kind of cook them better. But to me, it's easier to cook, start cooking them first and then remove the skins while you're cooking them. So that's usually how I do it. I just cook them. So two and a half minutes on this side and then I'll flip them and we'll do two and a half minutes more. Okay, I've had them cooking right about a minute and a half. Now I'm just going to add some of the sauce back in with some of the marinade. And I'll let that cook for about another minute. All right, and I think I forgot to mention, my stove, my burner is on eight right now. So I don't know how everybody's burner goes. Mine has low and then two through eight and then high. So I have mine on eight. So I started it on high and then bumped it down to eight right before I put the salmon in. So now what you want to do is you're going to just kind of feel these and if they're sticking then they're not ready yet okay so they've been cooking now for about two and a half minutes so now we're going to flip them over i gotta get my fan on here <laughs> sorry about the noise and that is perfect. Now we're going to let them put a little bit on the bottom and then I'm going to peel that skin right off. A little bit more of the marinade in there. some of the marinade, some of the bottom kind of pan seared. Okay, so we can put back over. Okay. So now that I've spent the two and a half minutes <laughs> getting the, that out of there. Alright, now what I'm going to do is Pour the rest of the marinade right over the top. And this is going in the oven. All right, just gonna kind of flip my vegetables around. So this is gonna be perfect, about five minutes on the vegetables. So the vegetables will go back in and the salmon will in. And I think, I think I'm just gonna leave the salmon in for maybe about three minutes because it looks like it's pretty much cooked. So I'll take the salmon out after about three minutes and that's gonna need to sit for a couple minutes anyways. My vegetables will come out in about five. In the meantime, I'm gonna microwave my rice too. Okay, so I have my uh, my plate on the scale. I'm going to weigh out my rice. So for one cup is 145 grams. So I'm going to want about 72.5 grams. And that's good enough, 73. And, and my husband doesn't weigh his stuff out anymore. Whoa, but he's going to say that's way too much. See, that's what happens when I try and just pour it on there.
my vegetables with some spray butter. Sorry about my bird in the background. You can spray your salmon if you want. Sometimes I'll put a little piece of light butter on the salmon when it goes in the oven, but I didn't today. So the other thing that I usually do is have lemon with it. I always, for this kind, I always uh, squeeze some fresh lemon juice over it. I went out to my lemon tree and I don't have any lemons, so I'm not going to be having lemons with it this time. I do have some lime juice, but I think the marinade that's in it is probably going to be enough. And then your salmon should just flake right off. There you go. It should just come in layers, flake right in layers. So good. So Lindy, there you go. I hope that you like this. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Put any comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna try this. Let me know if you have tried this. If you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. I'll talk to you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christy and I'm planning us healthy.